hello and welcome to scrapbook process video number 21 yes 21 my scrapbook processes are now legal to drink in in the usa yep that's that's my intro to this video <laughs> okay so in this video i am doing a spread with paige evans oh my heart obviously a slightly older collection but i only recently got hold of most of it but anyways so what i was just doing then was gessoing the whole page i didn't do a big thick layer of gesso like i usually do with brushes and stuff i was doing it quite lightly with a sponge because as i said i didn't want a very thick layer on there and now i am going in with some oh i never know how to say it is it gouache gouache paint i just i i can't say it but i really like the paint for those of you not familiar it's basically a paint that's kind of somewhere in between watercolor and acrylic so you can either call it a thin acrylic or a thick watercolor but i was mixing up some different blues and a little bit of purple and obviously lots of white to make a sort of sky bluey color and i'm just going in with the packaging technique all over the page to have this sort of mottled cloudy sky effect going on so yes if you haven't tried out google gouache gouache whatever it is paints um definitely give them a go they're relatively cheap to buy so yes and they i really really like them yeah they're great little paints so yes as still going doing this packaging technique all over the place hopefully one more made a little splash there but I actually kind of like that little splash think it works well and then just as a little extra uh, a sort of subtle effect with this cloud stencil I cannot for the life of me remember if I was using white gouache or gesso for this I really can't remember but I think it must have been gesso because it's so so faint but yes as you can see the cloud pattern is super subtle but i didn't want it to be too obvious and then the last thing just now for the mixed media -y part of it is to add some heidi swap color shine in ocean one of my favorite color shine colors so yes i fussy cut all of these books out from oh, one of the oh my heart papers i can't remember which number it is sorry about that and i had seen some time ago someone i cannot remember who how bad is that i think it was someone on the page evans design team i think but they did this kind of thing where they had the books in rows almost as if they're hanging on lines like washing lines kind of effect and i decided i wanted to do that so i'd fussy cut a whole page of the books that's not even half of them there's loads and loads if you fussy cut the whole 12 by 12 and i just set them out on the page in the way i wanted as you can see i did took a picture of it to figure out exactly where I wanted them and I am putting a glue dot on the bottom of each book to keep them fixed in place because I'm going to do paper stitching so I want them to stay relatively where they are but I do not want the stitching to go through the glue dot that is not not a good thing to do I have ruined many a needle by accidentally going through a load of adhesive when doing paper stitching so yes now I'm going in with my Tim Holtz what is it called pokey thing to make my holes for the stitching just about roughly a quarter inch apart ish clearly i didn't measure them and i did the actual stitching itself off camera because i think i did it like late at night in bed or something like that just as at a time when i couldn't film but most of you have probably seen paper stitching before and i have done it in other videos as well so there we go so there is the picture i am scrapping it is a picture of me at my graduation i think it was a graduation picture i did last week maybe the week before not sure but yes me at my graduation in when was it july 2015 so a slightly older picture and i'm just standing on a large chessboard for some reason in my silly hat and my silly gown and holding up my little degree piece of paper it's really disappointing after three years at uni you expect to get that little scroll and you don't it's like a certificate in a flat a4 cardboard thing i was just wait nobody told me this where's my scroll anyways so yes i backed it on that pastel pink paper originally i was going to go from a more brighter colored one to be like oh it needs to stand out and whatnot but actually it's quite capable of standing out on its own merit as it were so i stuck with the pastel color and also put tissue paper behind it because there's kind of a floaty sky theme going on at the same time so yes so that book and that little card that says books and more books with the foiling is from the ephemera pack 
I believe. Yes, from the Oh My Heart ephemera pack. And even though it is small, it's actually what I'm using for my title because Books and More Books is very appropriate for my graduation photo because I did English and History at uni. Anyone who's done both or either of those subjects at uni will know there is a hell of a lot of reading involved. So that's why I've got the whole book thing going on in the background and the Books and More Books title, just because uni just makes me think of many books and breaking my back carrying many books to and forth from the library and anyways yes so there's your explanation of the title and I'm using other ephemera bits just up amongst those lines of books just I think having those little bits of interest among those lines of books just makes it look better otherwise it would be a bit plain I know that sounds really weird because it's a really busy layout but I think all those little bits up and around the place work quite well and I'm actually for once doing journaling on my scrapbook layout. Those of you who are regulars to my channel know that I don't tend to journal on my scrapbook layouts, it's just not a thing that I do. I journal in many, many other places and I don't always like doing it on my layouts, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go for this one. And I really like that little card that said heck yes on it, because, you know, it's kind of a cool achievement to get a degree. So yes. And I just wrote info about like my degree and whatnot. And I said something along the lines of it took many books to get here. So it also explains why the layout to anyone who might be reading it. So in putting down my little photo cluster there, you see I ripped the tissue paper. Oh, rookie mistake. Oh, I felt so silly. It's the tiniest little rip, but it's so obvious and it was annoying the hell out of me. So I just punched a little star from that sort of patchwork paper there to just put a glue dot head on it, cover up that rip. Shh, nobody can see, nobody knows. <laughs> So now I'm putting on all those ephemera pieces that I decided I was having up amongst the books. I the the fox, I just I really like the look of him and I like the way his orange colour contrasts against the blue background. I look think he looks pretty cool up there. Oh, there's um a little embellishment from the thicker pack that says what does it say? Oh, all you need is a good book. I just thought might as well use that because it sort of goes with the theme of the whole thing and Yes, just adding all the little bits there. That wonderful you, I'm not necessarily calling myself a wonderful you, but it's just, I thought it looked really nice on those books. Like the font, the sort of greeny colour against the blue. I just, yeah, I thought it looked pretty, let's be honest. And I do decide against that large pink polka dot heart. It was just, it was a bit too much, just a bit, yeah, too much. But I wanted something with that little flower cluster because it looked a bit weird on its own. So put that geometric heart on there instead and that's much, much better. And now I am adding just a couple of Tim Holtz chit chat, not chim, what is it? Small talk, that's it. Stickers and alternating between the black and white. I rarely use the black ones. Thinking about it, I usually use the white with the black text rather than the other way around. Huh. Yeah, I very rarely use the black ones. Sorry, that's just me going off on a tangent. Just a little thought I had popped into my head. Oh, and I found a birdie, and I love a birdie. A splash, a splash, especially a blue one. So he had to go on there. And because of this kind of washing lines floating in the sky, I thought the little birdie was kind of appropriate. And I think this is pretty much the last thing I do is throwing on some enamel dots. It feels like I haven't used enamel dots in ages. I don't know why but it feels like forever. So those blue ones, they're called denim something or other. I think they're paper mania. Those ones I'm putting on now, the heart shaped ones, those kind of pastel colors, those are Dovecraft, but I can't remember the range. It might have been blooming lovely, but at the same time, possibly not. And also those teeny weeny little heart ones, just cause they're super, super adorable. And a couple of little white ones, and I've no idea where those are from. And then there we go, it is done. So yes, bit of a busy layout, but I think it works. But yes, thank you so, so much for watching and I will catch you all real soon. Bye-bye.